Yeah. All right, we got an artist coming up. What's up? What's up, man? Oh yeah, you can. Let me. Let me yeah, yeah, there's a the little that nubby. Yeah, spin that. Nope, the nubby part. Spin that. The other way. Something like that. There yeah. you go. There it oh, yeah. is. Now, now, oh, un, six two. Yeah, so. Unnubby it and it'll get tighter. Six okay. two. Yeah. You know what I feel that's like? What I feel like. Uh, so I'm five eleven. Okay. All right. Yeah. That's and a five eleven is like an average guy. Right. 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 I have a buddy that's five four. Okay. And I feel shorter. like there's a lot of like short. Like, I don't know if you all are like short person racism, but I feel like chicks look at short guys and immediately yeah. disqualify them oh. simply because they're like 5'4". I feel oh, bad yeah. for my uh. buddy. He's a little short guy. No chick yeah, will talk I, to him. I do no. think chicks like taller dudes. I know. It's well, you would know. chick thing. <laughs> you would know. 6'2". Sometimes. Sometimes. You would know. I get the look. I'm like, you, oh, tall dude. Huh. You get that look? <laughs> Oh my god, Rarely. I've never gotten that look. <laughs> You're not a tall dude. What would you do if you got that look? I get that look oh, all the tall time. Tall dude. No, you get that look? Yep. All right. I know what you do when you get that look. <laughs> Tell us who you are and what you do. Yeah, uh, thanks. My name is Ryan Barrett, and oh. uh, I basically paint pixel art. So uh, my booth is right over there. Uh, I've been doing it for about 12 years now, and it's all hand painted pixel art. So, like, when you say hand painted, like with the yeah. brush, like with the, with the, brush. With the little brush? Yeah, traditional. With what? Do you, what kind of acrylic? Acrylic paint, yes, acrylic oh. paint. Um, so I use very traditional. I use all kinds of different sizes of brushes, uh, but mostly like really small. I mean, my brushes are probably I don't know a fourth of a centimeter wide. Oh wow! Yeah, very very tiny brushes. So you literally like what? I, I, I'm trying to conceptualize like how because like, you're <laughs> you're painting little squares, yes, pixels, yes. So do you map it out like? Uh, I do a lot of different techniques, Is actually. Is freeform? Uh, sometimes I, I just use a ruler, and I grid off the canvas with a ruler first. And then just, okay. Then. And then I fill in the, you know, where the pixels are supposed okay, to be. Yeah, yeah that makes but, uh, more sense. Uh, uh, some other times I, um, I'll print out the actual shape of the sprite, and then I'll, I'll cut that out with an X-Acto knife just to have the outline. So, you know, maybe I'll borders. have a, a planar background, and I'll just use that outline as a starting point, and then I still have to end up gridding it. So it all ends up with gridding. And everyone, okay. I, I have some friends that are also pixel painters, and everyone dreads the gridding because the fun comes from actually painting, you know, and the grid work is just the, the pre work to get to the painting. So, so you have to actually like sketch out the grid? Uh, yeah, and, you know, with a ruler and a pencil. Yeah. Wow. I have to, I mean, because they don't make pre gridded canvases, right? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, I have to make the grid beforehand. So maybe that's, by the way, future entrepreneurial idea. How many <laughs> pixel painters Free are there? Pre-gridded canvases, the, make it happen, you, please. No, you know, Would that be if we designed listen, that and put it out? Listen, I'll give it away for free right now. You no, know, no, don't give it away for free. You, you know that blue chalk they use to like make a straight line, chalk lines? Yeah, I know exactly what you're You get a, you build a yeah. frame that holds that, right. and then you just, right. oh, just pop, pop it. Pop it. Yeah, pop it. Good no, to that's go. a good idea. Now, the only downside of that is when you want to have, uh, you know, a specific size of pixel, you're limited to whatever you sell, you right? Have to, you have to build so, a lot so of these want, frames. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> or, or make it adjustable somehow. Yeah. I don't know how that would be possible, but, you know, I, I make all different I sizes. You, you know, you I, you I range from, like, very ratios, small to very so. big. Yeah. So how do you start... No, first pixel painting, does it fall under like a, a what they call like realism or impression, like under the paint um, world? What is it? I, yeah, under? I think the closest to, uh, you know, it, the isms are out there would probably be pointillism. Pointillism, Point, okay, yeah. Pointillism yeah, yeah. or, or, you know, pop art. It, it's more or less it's pop art. Okay. Right. So, so you know, Andy Warhol, right? Yeah, so yeah. So he, he painted the, uh, the Campbell soup cans. <laughs> yeah. Right. And he did the Marilyn Monroe, and that was screen printing. And that was before it was all big and screen printing, but you know it's kind of transitioned. Now any dude with two thousand bucks in a garage is right. out, has a T-shirt company. Right, <laughs> exactly. Uh, this is true. There's yeah. a lot of dudes with garages and screen printing companies. It's it's a weird thing. Yeah. There's As a three, matter of fact, I tried to talk you into it one there's time. There's three here operating, making shirts oh, yeah. on the go. Yeah, screen yeah, printers on demand. Yeah. So, uh, how did you get into that? What did, what did you start? Yeah. Before you did pixel art, were you some kind of other artist? Uh, or? <laughs> believe it or not, I actually did it in college. Um, when I graduated, I, I'm from Ohio, so I graduated Ohio State University in uh, oh, 04. Wow. And uh, go. I, that's when I started. Go Buckeyes! Like, uh, yeah, go Buckeyes, I guess. Oh, wow, I was trying to get in on the home yeah, team I'm there. Not, I, that uh, didn't work. I'm not into football, so. <laughs> I was just trying to say, yeah, it's a, go still Bucks. this. Yeah. Go H I O. He was blah, proud blah, blah. that he knew a football team. I am. I'm very impressed. I can say things. This is what I can say about Ohio. <laughs> Uh, watch all these keywords oh, I can say. Oh, oh, I got a question. <laughs> what? Go ahead, finish. Okay, these are my Ohio keywords. <laughs> uh, Cincinnati spaghetti. 
Okay. Skyline Chili. Okay. Nope. Grippo's Chips. Okay. Uh, Urban Meyer. Uh, Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. Yep. Drew Carey. Yep. That's you, my that's my Ohio it. words. That's basically all you need to know. <laughs> if I worked that in like over ten minutes with you, like yeah. just, we were small talking, would you walk away going, I think this guy he I mean, knows he, Ohio. He knows Ohio, yeah, kinda. Look kinda. at that. <laughs> Wikipedia, baby. <laughs> all right. Did you want to ask him about the Skyline Chili? No. I was just gonna bring up that was my contribution to the Oh, I have an idea. Skyline Chili. Yeah. Oh. But no. <laughs> I'm actually from the uh, Cincinnati area. I grew up around that area. Oh, so did you really? Reds, you know, Reds. Everyone loves the Reds. So, like, it really seems like when you say, like, a team, you're just like, yeah, it's a, this is what people enjoy. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah, that's cool. So, anyway, so you're from Ohio, though. Yes, yeah. You were painting in college. Right. No, I did. I, um, my my final, actually, my final, I, I graduated fine art, and uh, my final was a pixel painting. Wow. Yeah, so that was, that was like, my, you know, my introduction. But then I actually stopped for a while. I stopped. Uh, I actually, I've been trying to get in the video game industry for, for years now. And uh, it's kind of been a rocky road. But uh, Trying to do what in the video game industry? Uh, 3D animation. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> wow. I, have a, I have a master's degree. <laughs> yeah, but uh, I basically, that's why I moved to Texas. I moved to Texas. I, w I went to school up in Dallas, uh, SMU, a place called Guildhall. And uh, I graduated there, trying to get in the industry. It was right at the height of the economic depression we had no oh, nine geez. so no one was hiring no one was hiring under uh you know just graduates so yeah you know uh i'm sure you guys have experienced oh we'll hire you if you have 10 years of experience yeah where do you yeah. get the experience well you have to be hired for it's for that it's right a, it's a, it's so it's like the vicious cycle lie. yeah no it's like it's like almost like set up to prevent yeah. Right, right, right. Yeah, it's very frustrating. Something's weird there. Yeah, but, you know, this is my passion. It's, it's basically my hobby. I don't do it full-time. I have another full-time job, but yeah. uh, this is my hobby, and it, I use it to relax. Yeah, right? so but, you, yeah. you like, started as a pixel painter. Yeah. 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 So, I, I love pixel so art. So what, what is an average price for a piece of yours? Okay, everyone always asks that, but uh, it depends. It basically, it depends on the complexity and the size of the canvas. I'll, I'll so, give you so it's $5. So like, it's like paying for tattoo? What? Have to be like, yeah, it's yeah, like, depends that's, on how that's a really good the analogy. And the size. Like, yeah, exactly. I can't just tell you a price. So like, Five dollars. So, um, so here's my plug coming up. I, I'm having a raffle over there for a Super Mario Brothers 2 painting, right? So then that's a 12 by 12. Uh, that goes for about 60, 75 dollars. Okay. Yeah. Can we? Are we entered in the raffle? You can. Like, can I just say I am? And, <laughs> no, you gotta pay. You have to buy a ticket. Oh, it's oh. A, it's a, it's a yeah, yeah. No, okay. I, I got well, tickets for two bucks or three cross promotion tip for tat. We're yeah, we can delete this. This is a smart guy. <laughs> oh, don't do that. Don't delete this it. This is a smart guy. Uh, <laughs> no, uh, so I got to make buck, a buck, too. <laughs> I want to tell you about this other artist we ran into to see. I'm, I'm just curious. Okay. Uh, we ran into this other artist, and what I'm amazed by is art. There's something for everybody. This guy was 56 years old. He was okay. in a construction worker in Australia. Okay. He was on his third divorce, and he was like, that's it. I got to do something different with my life. So he left the construction business. And he st started uh, painting with his uh, penis. Wow. And he would put a, 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 a paint he brush in. Himself. He catheters No himself. way. Yep. Seriously. His and name he, is Picasso. Picasso. And really? he's internet famous. And I have the not thing heard is, of that. He said, you got to check it out. As a fan that of sounds art. sounds so painful. And, but he does like these. What's <laughs> weird is really this. He does really good. He does really, really good things. Does paintings. he like take, like. Um, you know, Viagra or something? He does. Or is it flaccid? Yeah, it? flaccid. <laughs> and he does the... Uh, it's, well, he says he, he chooses for effect, I think is what... Oh. But he does, like, uh, impressionistic... Does he do shows? Or like, yeah, that's it. He does so live he can, painting like, watch shows. Him yeah, like, bach it? bachelorettes and stuff. Wow. Every person that orders a painting from him commissions a painting. Yeah. Because he does, like, uh, like uh, what do you call it, where you do people's faces, but you do, like, impressionism? But they're, like, really good? Caricatures? Yeah. They're not Caric caricatures oh. at all. Can you look it's it like impressionism. <laughs> Yeah, I'll find I'll one. I'll take a look. I'll take a look at okay. my own time. <laughs> so anyway, so the thing is, like, they're really good. Yeah. But these things go sometimes three thousand dollars. He told me he sold these for. What? He sold one of Donald Trump for like three grand. Oh my and, god. And uh, he sends with every copy of the painting that he sends out, he sends a video of him making the painting, oh my so god. people of know it's real. And to me, we were listening to it, and you can go like, you could judge it. But then I was like, this dude is a guy that found something he was passionate about yeah. and turned it into a business and is now famous. This is a construction guy who is 56. That's the when, American dream. That's yeah, what I thought. Right. That's what I thought. I was right. blown away by it. So I was like, that was that our is, most recent. Oh, my God. Yeah, that's a painting that he did. That's not, amazing. Not, not bad, right? It's huge. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, the painting. The painting is huge. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there you go. Good point. You got to clarify because this is audio. All right, so where can people, like, I do want to, we like artists. We like people who yeah. have a passion for things. If people would like to see your work, order your work, Absolutely. things like that, where can they go? Pixelartpaintings.com. Per- oh, yeah. You easy got enough. that easy URL? Enough. You, they still have that on GoDaddy? I do. I also own pixelartpainting.com, the singular version, and I bought both the plural and the singular. Good call. Did you buy all the extras, Good like job. the .net, the .org? I didn't. No, no. Yeah. I got limited budget. But uh, I, I'm also on Instagram, pixelartpaintings on Instagram, and uh, pixelartpaintings on Facebook. That's Just, awesome. Yeah. So check out Pixel Art Paintings. Uh, you can see it. Obviously, he's got the raffle going on today. Yep. But for a lot of people who are listening to this afterwards, go check him out online. He's an artist doing doing really cool shit. So. And I'm opening commissions in August. So oh, you're going to start commissioning? Yeah, yeah. If you want your own pixel painting, just, yeah, give me a contact and I'll work with you. I, I basically do any sprite you want. That's awesome, man. Yeah. So, uh, so check it out. Thanks again, man, Thank for you. stopping by. Thank you so Take much. Take a flyer because we'll send you, uh, like, some... Uh, um, a oh, way yeah. to listen and all that stuff afterwards. Okay. So we'll, we'll, awesome. we'll connect. Yeah, thanks so much. Yeah, thanks, buddy.